Sweet. <clears throat> what up, y'all? You know, we were just cutting up beforehand. We had to. Yeah. You know, we got the big bam of Chuck and Wolf up in the building. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. With some creek water. Yeah, We've already been sipping. That's it. Yep. He I found the one that. red bottle in Virginia. <laughs> is it not available in Virginia? You can't find it nowhere. No, you know I did, I did it's not even that case. Did yeah. you? You uh, found the red ones? Yeah, they're now by the racetrack. Okay. See, they're so hard to find. It doesn't matter where you're at. Well, it's hard to find. Yeah. Eh, well, it's, it's liquor's weird, man. You can. It's like you gotta work each district, and sometimes you gotta work districts within the states. Yes. It's not like you can just like, Do they sell oh, I got liquor spots? now and it's everywhere. Like I've had to fly into certain states and go to the courthouse personally, talk to the board just to, you know, tell them my story, what my liquor was about, you know, yeah. you know what it was, you know, and, um, and try to, you know, get through, which we did. Have you had denials? Have you had people like denying you? Because it's the same thing with cannabis. Like we're Correct. we just are going through this city to city, and we just yeah, you know, depending on the it's like the yellow pages when it comes to what to do. And, yeah, and everyone's different. Mm -hmm. But we've yeah, I mean we've done really well. You know we've got a Walmart account, Whole Foods. Yeah, you know shit like that. Uh, it's amazing but, whiskey too, though. It's That's my thing. thing. It's amazing. Thanks, man. Yeah, you know it's fucking hundred proof. Twenty-five dollar, you know, twenty. Uh, depending on what liquor store. Yeah. Where's the bottle facility at? For twenty-five. Oh shit, man! This is uh. Where did we just steal this at? South Carolina. Hell yeah! Nice. Wait, See, wait, in the wait. south. That's legit. Yeah, absolutely. Not only that, you're creating jobs. That is very much so. Oh, south dude, Carolina dude. needs them. You're not kidding. Yeah. Jobs, dude. Absolutely. The Americans got. Them. Days. That's, that's what that's the goal though is Absolutely. the community the more that we put into our communities i think the better that we get out of it raleigh that's how raleigh i'm sorry okay. north carolina raleigh north carolina yeah we, so it's even closer yeah yeah it's not too shabby shows you how much i pay attention to that shit. See, <laughs> if you're on social media more <laughs> i need to know every in and out of uh whiskey distilleries in the process so that's not true for me i just you know they brought it to me and i tasted it and i, and I liked it immediately and the yeah. first question i asked was like well how much is it going to be you know what i mean because you know, for my fan base i'm not gonna lie that's a 75 dollar bottle this this was for you no no, no. it's 25 oh, okay, but i'm okay. saying if you i would put a value on it as a whiskey drinker this is my jam this is what we do correct wait look I got more I bottles and than anybody else in the town, including all the bars. That I would consider to be a seventy five dollar bottle. So when I first That's bought it I, I thought it tasted expensive as well. Yeah, it does. Absolutely. I mean, because I, it's because of how smooth it is. Yeah. And then it, how good it tastes. Yeah. That's right. that's a bad thing at the same time. Well, the first time funny, I drank man. it was like yeah. It's like everything else, you know, like some people like I like Jaeger. But some people despise it. You know, I hate it. So I can't okay, stand it. I can't stand it. And he wants to. He's like, oh, I fucking shower in it. He's like, oh, <laughs> fucking Jaeger bombs. Like Yeager my new bombs. haircut. <laughs> I'm like, I can't fuck with it like that. I'll drink one because yeah. hell, I like to drink, but I won't. I don't like to fuck with it like that. Whiskey's you know? that way. So if I find, uh, you know, like-minded people, it's it's what's up. Yeah, Correct. very much so. What is crown. it? It has to be crown. Crown's my whiskey. Yeah. I, yeah. Dude, our 18 year though is is crazy. That's what I want to try. So like I can't find that nowhere. Model. Yeah, just like there's only 600 bottles. The label is leather. You can peel it oh, off wow. and sew it to your jacket. So what? How do how do you uh, how like, do you go about getting how one? Found, yeah, how can you acquire it? Uh, it's only available uh, uh, by order. You got to go to. Slamerican.com, and nice. then uh, there's a there's a Creekwater whiskey link that'll send you to a, you know where you can get it. But you know it's like it was gifted to certain liquor stores. And, yeah, you know, promotional. We, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, and a thank you as well. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Most definitely. Uh, Johnson City gonna get one. Uh. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no, just I just fucking say love it, man. <laughs> Hell yeah! Nah, I fucking love it. What's no, going on around here, man? This fucking place is amazing, dude. Look, 
this what place. What the fuck? This is place. Going on here? Look, I feel like I pulled in the goddamn like. Where's the wild and wonderful whites? <laughs> uh, it's two <laughs> hours uh, north. Of west. Yes, pretty much. <laughs> Everywhere no. feels like a coal miner's town. It like, is. So, That's uh, we're we're in the epicenter of it. So okay. Uh, okay. An hour yeah. in each direction, you can yeah. find coal dust and tears. Yep. All right. All From right. the Obama more, administration. More tears than anything. Yeah, absolutely. Like there's this place is wild. So when I, I'm from California, I'm from Sacramento, hmm. and you know I lived in Nashville for a while, and I stayed in Memphis for a while. Well, not necessarily the city, more like the institutions that they have there. Well, outside, anyway. but <laughs> so. Fifty one fifty, bro. Nah, nah. I was talking about like Hardeman County and stuff, uh, and West High. <laughs> you know, I was talking about surrounding areas. Talk but life. yeah, <laughs> we're doing you know in trouble stuff. But um, fucking so. When I left, and you know, California is like crazy, Nashville gets crazy, Memphis is wild. And then I came here, and I was like, people are leaving their doors unlocked, and like, people wave at you when you come by, and everybody knows everybody, and it's just, it's very wholesome. With the it's population very, of 7,500, a lot yeah. everybody. Everybody you knows see the everybody. same people at the gas station. 7,500? 7,500, yeah. 7, okay, this is perspective. Jelly Roll just sold out. Sold out Bridgestone, and there was fourteen thousand people. Yeah, so like Twice two and a half of our cities. Yeah, because half yeah. of them probably don't even live here anymore, Absolutely. or they're dead because it's an old folks home. Wow. Yeah, it's wild. It's wild. Yeah. So, so, so what the what the fuck? This is we grow pot. Yeah. 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 What the Hell fuck yeah. do you guys? Yeah. Are you just so grow we grow pot. That's our thing. We teach people Absolutely. how to grow pot. We grow pot. We cross stuff. We do our own. But genetics. wait, wait. It's not legal to sell. It's fully legal to adult, adult share. share. So I'm allowed to give you up to pot, an ounce up to of an our ounce. finest pump. But available. you can't sell it to me. No, but I can give it to you. Oh. Right? So we grow a whole shit ton of CBD as well. Yeah, so yeah. we'll sell you the CBD. And then we like to then adult share. Let me smell of this bag. Of Absolutely. Yeah, smell some of that kind okay, of you, you guys, you grew this? Yeah. And what is this? Uh, that doesn't even have a name on it. That's just something that we grew. We, we like to just cross stuff uh, and figure it out and fuck off. Good lord. On the, uh, yeah. hey, on the name you. tag, it says question mark. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how many little Shit. things in our in our pots that'll say question marks just on just there? Just They'll be like, we don't know. Fire. Dang, fire. <laughs> or we'll put like abbreviations because we'll be like, this is a grape rock candy, cross a banana buttercup, cross with the white wood, or we'll cross that with an aquafuga gold. Okay. We'll like reverse cross it and then reverse feminize that pollen, then repolish it with a grape rock, and then we'll call it that. The we'll be like, oh, it's great. a frappe. My manager. Yes. So diverse. <laughs> yeah. We'll just be fucking off some. My manager's sure. got quite the green thumb, Zilla. Hell yeah, we've already, yeah, yeah. We've already been talking about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, <laughs> he's, he's dabbled. Most definitely. So how how do you how do you feel about cannabis? I man, listen, I, I grew up on this you know, this is just immediately just reminds me of childhood, you know. That's what I'm shooting for. I'm shooting for that old school chronic, that 1995 Afghan. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? The 19, the pre 1998 Bubba Kush. Wow, you know? that's a that's a keen that's a keen sense of smell you have. I I just uh, <laughs> just the smell of, uh, of I'll, I'll say pot for the nostalgia of my mom. I'll say pot for mom. Like it's just you know like yeah I I love. I love it. It reminds me just of, you know, yeah, childhood. But, you know, like, you know, my folks, my mom's always grown weed it, like, my whole life. Uh, so, so I remember, you know, roach clips with the feathers hanging from it. And, you, know, like, you know, like, rolling trays and, you know, seeds was a part of the culture. That was just accepting. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, so, so you would, like, we get excited up. when we see seeds now. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah if we run across oh, the seeds still... in our shit, we're like, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Right, let me get that. Let me get that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah the big, chunky yeah. ones. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about the ones that are fucking big. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, yeah, you still fucking break your weed up and, you know, you could... You would tilt the tray and your seeds would roll down the tray and the weed would stay at the top. And that was the trick to getting your seeds out. Hell oh, yeah. It was like fucking prospecting. The fucking porcelain, <coughs> water, the, the, the white porcelain water bongs that look like wizards and shit. Yeah. yeah. That was around the house a lot. 
a lot of resin being smoked around the house. <laughs> yeah, resin was a thing. We used to go snatch the street sweeper <laughs> things off the street when they'd come through and street sweep. I'd be like, bro, go out there. I'll smoke this bowl of resin with you if you get the fucking street sweeper. They'll go out there. This is perfect for scraping your pipe. Oh my God. <laughs> People make slurries out of them. Yeah, hell yeah. That's <laughs> a fuck. Yeah. When you live out here, it's like Cadillac and birds getting jacked all the time. I can't smoke, I can't smoke thing. weed though. I can't fucking, I can't do it. I, well, I grew up smoking weed and then for, then for a while, I got into acid heavy, like paper acid. Old and blotter. Started, yeah, well, just anything, man. I was just a fucking, I was just that kid. I was a really fucking heavy drug use. And uh, yeah, and then it just started giving me anxiety bad, bad. And then I, when I turned, 30, uh, 31, I decided I was going to go sober, right? Quote unquote sober and pick up weed and, uh, to, to like substitute for alcohol, you know? Yeah. Like it was going to be my Your choice. fucking sobriety. And it worked for a bit. And then I just started to click and do crazy shit. And I think, I think, but... What do you mean, like, crazy I, I, shit, like, musically? At the base, at the base like, of it, like, just knowing me, I think it, I, I'm, I'm a bit bipolar, and this can, and this can, like, uh, ex, you know... Enhance like, it? Yeah, it can, like, okay. make it, it can make it crazy. It it's, definitely it's, can. It's either gonna be extremely funny, or extremely sad, or extremely happy, or fucking terrifyingly angry. You well, know see, that's mean? why you that's gotta figure I, out the why. different types of weed. Yeah, well, because the doctor told me by the time I did different. that, I'd be in a fucking padded room. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's that true. Explain that, any that is true. That's so he doesn't that's smoke. That's why I don't smoke. It enhances my depression. Yeah. So he, he doesn't doesn't... think of really weird things. Yep. Well, uh, see, like I, I smoked the, for. I was on tour for a while and. Uh, it was during, actually, I think, speaking of Jelly, it was Jelly, Struggle, myself, Doobie. Nice. And uh, and I wasn't drinking, but I was smoking and like, <laughs> smoking any and everything, by the way. And I just snapped, man. I just, it was like, it was like someone doing like too much cocaine, you know, was, I just went off the rails. And so I, I kind of feel almost like punished because I did too much dirty fucking drugs when I was a kid that I can't enjoy something so simple. Yeah. Like, it's just like, nah, you fucking ruined it. Yeah. You're not allowed to enjoy flower. I can this respect that. Flower. Yeah. You blew that one. Yeah. You know what I mean? You just get to drink here and yeah. there and like, fuck off, you can't do anything else. Isn't that wild how your body like just tells you what to do from what you've already done. Yeah, absolutely. I think and you get super depressed when you smoke. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember la one of the last times I really got like noticeably high was with Aaron, and I was sitting in the back seat of his truck, and we rolled to my house to pick something up, and I was crying. I I had tears rolling down my cheeks because I was just thinking about some stuff. Uh, I I just can't handle it. Like that. I just don't like it, and it's only when I smoke like flour. I can smoke a cart. Uh, it's only a hybrid cart, and I can handle it. But, uh, oh, dissolutes. Yeah, I can do that, but as long as it's not flour, I, I just can't do it. My homie Paul, DJ Paul, uh -huh. he's like, it's like, it's like my, I call him Pop. He's like, everybody calls him Pop. We yeah. fucking love that guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's a like, jam. Oh, so you guys know yeah. already. Yeah, he was just here last week. Okay. Yeah, he came and hung out with us for a good week. Here's the Paul. Yeah, it was like four or five days he hung out. Yeah, he's super chill. He's been up here a few times. That's what's up. Fucking to Paul, my guy. Yeah, yeah. Yes, from for sure. Love you, Paul. <laughs> R.I.P. Boo. That's wild. Um, so, but yeah, yes. I was out there. We talked about. He's like, dude, I don't smoke shit that I can't go to the grow house and pick myself. He's like, I don't trust none of this shit. That's you know, because out on the West Coast or just legal weed in general. Yeah. It's it's they're spraying it or they're putting this that a third mm -hmm. you know on it. And this, and this weird, what's that shit you could buy at the gas Delta. station? What is Delta, that shit? It's fucking it's synthetic bullshit yeah. that they derive from my hemp. But that. they're processing it like fucking meth. 
It's they're still processing. It's still toxins and chemicals, and then they're spraying uh, hemp with it and calling it real weed. And delta. THCO or Delta, delta 8. Delta 8, right? Yeah, it's Delta 8. It's trash. It's not fucking good for you. It's terrible. No, everything that we have is organic. How do you smoke something with a name like Delta 8? You feel like it's the fucking... Yeah, that's like, so that's the fucking, government right yeah, there. You know what I mean? It's, it's, like, damn, it's, it's derived the from the cannabis molecule. Ever so slightly to where it's legal because the cannabis molecule it's like when they is had legal. um is illegal. You it's remember easy. spice? Yeah, yeah. And like remember the spice stuff that oh, came yeah, out yeah, when they were doing yeah, that? Yeah. It was like one molecule away, so it was legal. That's it. And, and they were making the molly it. with it. They were doing the bath sauce where they were. Oh, like, the bath were, sauce. Remember, that was uh, the one. Who ate that guy? Yeah, yeah they were they were yeah. What the fuck? That's it. Yeah, it's, it's made the same way. It's just a molecule off. They would change it every, every time they would make it legal. There was, I remember it. clips of kids like fucking flipping around on the ground like fish. Fish, yeah. And yeah. the, the streets and shit. Absolutely. And they were smoking in <laughs> the penitentiary and them motherfuckers were fucking Ooh. going crazy. Like flipping it was out. wild. You'd fucking see them flipping and then they'd stop and drop and you're like, fuck no. Oh, no. That just means the price goes up. <laughs> <laughs> that's no, but that, that's I'm like. Dude, that y'all talk about good drugs. Hey, hop on, hop on this mic over here. We gotta bring, we gotta bring Zilla in on this conversation. Most definitely. I even asked him. He's, 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 he's knowledgeable in this world for sure. So Can I ask you about shrooms? Oh yes, let's crack it over. Let, I want to talk Please. about shrooms because this is like a huge thing. They just put a bill in for Virginia to make it legal. Oregon's legal. Um, I believe in them. I believe in the studies that I've read. Um, I don't microdose or anything right now. Fully illegal, so I don't do anything that's illegal. Okay, let me just. Um, <laughs> but before he goes but, in, because he's a, he's very knowledgeable of it, and he's you know I, he's an advocate for you know for the usage of it. Safely, medically, spiritually. Yes, speaking. yes. Professional well, look, is what we're saying. Yeah, professionally speaking. Professional. But, you know, the last time I took mushrooms, it was really stupid. But Alabama jumped the fucking farm fence. True story. Picked mushrooms wet out of a uh, out of a cow, cow patty. They have to be grain fed, supposedly. Picked them wet. <laughs> Like, they were not great fed. <laughs> ate them immediately. <laughs> Damn. Like, no, did not dry them. Damn. Part of the spiritual experience. Yes. The. Did they rock you? A nightmare, dog. Like, just. You know, all I know is just days of, like, sleeping at my grandmother's bed. Like, uh at the foot of her bed like wouldn't leave i was completely checked out what a fuck and uh yeah it was it was it was terrifying and and ever since then you know it's like this place that i don't want to return to but uh zilla has made me promise to him that this is true this is this is true one million liquid like in my personal, like on my personal card, one million liquid, and I have to go to the He's mountains. He's coming out to that. Yeah. To so this is what I've done. Wait, wait, I, this what is what I've done multiple times. I'll spend the money. Yes. <laughs> to, <laughs> you really will too. To not have a million in the bank, I'll spend it. You know, like on my personal card, I'll just spend it. Like nine hundred and something. <laughs> <laughs> got me now. Uh, but yeah, go ahead, Zoe. Well, I'm gonna take on the mountain. So, this 
saying, well, I've done it. <laughs> I've done it multiple times. <laughs> like, I had to learn at one point. You know? So, uh, when, when you go to trip for someone that doesn't do it, right? I fully believe PTSD is a lot of things. Shit like that. I mean, it's as simple as taking a small amount, then taking more until you don't trip, but you feel happier. That's it. I'm saying the thing about like large dosing, man. If you do that shit, I like to think about it like antibiotics. Right? Yeah. You wouldn't take one antibiotic to get rid of an infection, right? So you do this shit like I like to do it every week, every two weeks. Yeah. Right. And then let it almost get in your system. It's like cleaning out the cobwebs in your mind, and your spirit. You know yeah. I mean? Big dose ain't for everybody. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna join me real soon because he's getting that money. But, <laughs> uh, Hell yeah, we grew up in heavy streams right now. Spending that money. So we're we're like to go to the mountain. Well, I like to take big doses, like like nine grams and up. Nine grams if I'm not really ready. You know See, what I mean? yeah, these people ain't taking no damn nine grams around here. Nah, bro, it's not. No, it's, but it's I mean, not like, the same. It's like the first time <laughs> I used to fuck with this shit. Is it like before. acid? Cause like with acid, I, I would take so. I would take a hit. Then if I was gonna take it again in the morning, I'd have to take two hits. If I was gonna take it again the next well, day, yeah, I'm gonna have to take three or four or five. Yeah, I'm gonna have to double it up every time. Right. Huh? So that'd be legit. But I think I don't know. I think that I think with everything, I would rather push that onto people and let them try that first than a fucking moxie. One hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? So our biggest thing that we try to push out is the fentanyl that's going on right now. Right. Now, so, is that getting in weed or no? It, yes. Uh, in okay. Kingsport, Tennessee. Somebody okay. said it was. Well, somebody said it wait, wait, wait. I went talk to it. Somebody said it's getting in the weed. I don't know. So, no. this is what it is. Look, oh, so I went and talked to the police department about this. This oh is exactly what it is. So, they were running around. The police is what put it out there, right? Because they don't want people buying weed off the streets anyways. But, it's they're not really doing that. They're I was going to say it would be difficult, right? Well, they're not spraying. And pointless. It'd be pointless because yeah. it's not like if it's already hit. You don't want to kill your customer. Well, people are getting high from it. And they're putting it on fake dope. That was one of the things oh, that they were got saying. Oh, got you, got you, got but you. But what in reality it is, is if me and you are doing some fucking fake pills or some shit we know is fentanyl or something like that, and you OD and die, I'm not going to fuck off your name by saying, oh, we were snorting fucking fake Roxy's. Hey, I'm going to say, look, someone sold us some weed. He died from the weed. I'm gonna say we were smoking a joint. I don't know what the fuck happened. He died from it. That's Nobody's so gonna throw their stigma. fucking. It's yeah. It's a fake stigma. It's it's not even real. They've That's actually a good had zero That's cases a good in this entire area, and people post on it all the time. So they had this thing called anthocyanin. Anthocyanin is when um, your purples inside of your. You know what causes your plants to go purple? That color is the anthocyanin that's going through. It's a cold too, right? It's the cold, that yeah. But it. but it's it's the actual. I mean, sometimes it's not even the cold. It's just the plant itself oh, that's creating. Nice. Like blueberries. Blueberries have the full anthocyanin, so they're gonna stain everything purple. Mm. Well, what people were doing is they're dropping purple weed into water. When that does, it takes out all the anthocyanin, so the water turns purple. And they're like, watch what you're smoking. People are spraying with fentanyl because they watch fucking cops and think that they fucking drop fentanyl in the little pout packs and they go blue or purple and they're like, look, it's dope. So they'll put their weed in the water and they're like, look, it's dope on there. So they had this full thing of anthocyanin. Fucking anybody that grows pot would know that. They fucking, they're showing it in the water and they're like, it's sprayed with fentanyl. Don't fucking smoke off your local dealer. Go to the dispensary. This is a dispensary in every state. Even if it's... You have to have some crazy cancer to get it. Right. They just don't want you buying pot off the streets. Right. So for the people that are already scared of fentanyl and shit like that, I'm not gonna take no. I'm not gonna smoke shit if it's like, hey, it might kill you. It hit this blunt, but it oh, might kill you. I'm not hitting that blunt. No. No, I'm saying I got shit to do tomorrow. I value my life. You know, <laughs> and that's one of the biggest things that I push on cannabis is because no matter what, um, if you sit and smash a bunch of edibles and you smoke as much as you fucking want tomorrow no matter what even if you go through some anxiety depression and everything else you're gonna be awake and alive tomorrow right and that's my biggest thing you can't say that for any other drugs really you know so it's natural i feel like i'm gonna push that shit mm -hmm. i'm tired of my people dying from fentanyl and pills and overdosing for no fucking reason that shit hurts the soul when your fucking friend out of nowhere dies you know it'd be interesting right. if people gave away fentanyl tests to kids in high school mm -hmm. you know what i mean like it's, it's like yeah tell them don't say no that's cool but what happens when they do say yeah? 
You know what I mean? Give them something to test the shit. Yeah, they uh, they do give. We away. test all and we test everything yeah. in our store. We have a twenty thousand dollar tester. You can bring your shit in off the street, and I'll tell you if it's been sprayed with something. He'll tell you what's up. Wow. I'll tell you. I'll tell you the cannabinoids that are in it, the terpenes that it was part of, yeah. everything about it. I'll give Heavy you full metals. breakdowns. <laughs> all the metals. What's the How do you do that? Yeah. I have a twenty thousand dollar machine that I purchased, and I just put the weed in there, and it does it. We went up and got fentanyl strips. We went and got drug kits and stuff. So if people are, I tell them, hey, just bring in less than a gram, something that you're gonna dispose of, because I'm throwing it the fuck away after. Right, right, right. I just gonna let you know what it is. Mm. You know, and a lot of people do these at parties and festivals and things like that. Um, I don't ever condone of doing drugs, you know, but if you're thinking that, hey, this shit might be laced, I'll fucking test it for you and let you know if it is or not. You know what I'm saying? Mm. A lot of people do this shit at festivals. Is it some friends. kind of reagent or something? No. no, you just go up there and fucking buy the packs gotcha. or the strips that they set them in. Okay. You know, a lot of counseling centers around here give fentanyl tests now. Yeah, they'll give them they'll out. They'll test your dope for you. Yeah, they'll one hundred percent test it for you. <laughs> wow. Crazy. Yeah, but I mean, it's like a big the thing. Plans. It's just like you said, the guy that says yes. Right. There's gonna be people that say yes. Right. If there wasn't, we wouldn't have a problem. Right. Right. Then everybody would just say no. Right. And be like, nah, I'm just gonna sip on my weed. And, it's like, it's as easy as me saying you want to hit that, and you're like, no, I'm cool. That's how it's supposed to be. Right. But not everybody's the same. We're all fucked up. We all have our own <clears> flaws <throat> and faults, and you know. Mm. But just like friends, as you're supposed to be, community members, we're supposed to snatch up our homeboy when they're falling. Absolutely. Hey, dude, you know what I'm saying? Come here, I got you. You know, Because if we ain't doing that, then we're fucked up. Right? We just got to know which is friends and which is not. Um, I was going to ask you. Speaking of, since we're on the level, uh, my mom sent me this song back in the day. It was some years back. It was that uh, Till It's Gone, mm. right? When I first started making a little bit of cash flow, um, everybody was constantly, right? And then I'm like, damn, dude, I'm losing friends. I'm fucking losing friends because I'm trying to progress in life, right? If you're constantly trying to progress, you're going to lose people. How do you know which ones are the ones that should stick around? Maybe you should... Maybe you should have stopped and reached out and helped him out. But then you thought, man, dude, I'm constantly helping you. When the fuck are you going to get up? What do you want until it's gone? Like, Yeah, yeah. I don't think you can help anyone. Who, you can't help anyone that doesn't want help for themselves more than you want for them. Yeah. So if you... But that's a hard. Well, I mean, that's heavy. where you draw the hard line. Sure. Because you can't, like, you have to, uh, there's a few things that are, like, very, th that I disagree with, like, wholeheartedly that were ingrained in me, or suppo supposed to be ingrained in me, that I just shook off, and I was like, fuck that, that doesn't make any sense. Like, first of all, blood is thicker than water. Mm -hmm. Like, what do you mean? You're tripping. <laughs> this guy ounce I, I i that's my that's my blood kin you couldn't tell me Period. any different and then there's some other people that are blood kin to me they can't even get a free ticket to a show like they're, it's they're just done it's out you, mm -hmm. that doesn't you're not it doesn't sign you up yeah to be so taken care of day. where were you at when i needed you uh, well yeah that yeah. and and just are you even mentally prepared Correct. to get on the level of change? I come from a fucking long line of, uh, you know, of, of, of people, not all of them, but most of them that, you know, settled. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you can't mm -hmm. like dream, what dream? You know, that that's fucking like, Get, get a retirement situation. Get a yeah. 401k. Start yeah. a family. Stop here. This yeah. is where it starts. And this is where it stops here. I don't know what you did. Am I shutting shit off again? Nope. <laughs> what, what else is going to fall cool. down? Or... <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Watch your, watch your heads. I'm telling you. You know what it is? You're about as big as Elon Musk then. <laughs> Last time I mentioned Elon Musk, the lights fell. It was crazy. I was like, all right, we ain't talking back into the Dude, last time, remember that Elon Musk situation? Oh and then, yeah, yeah, that was crazy. I, I was, I was fucking with, <laughs> I was fucking with Tesla, and I put a, put a, um, 
uh, a photo that a fan made. It was the front end of the car was the Tesla truck, and then the back end was this chopped off Chevy flatbed <laughs> attached to it and it was mobbing through the desert they did a really good job it looked real That's yeah. and it had a big slamerican sticker on the back window of the tesla and, and it said a tesla slamerican collabo coming soon <laughs> so i reposted it and tagged elon Hey man, like within like and then and then the other thing. Remember the other thing? You did? Oh yeah, Elon. yeah, no, no, no. Hey, that wasn't it. And I was, and then I, and then I tagged Elon. I tagged him on that one, and then I tagged Elon and said, um, I, we dropped this rock album, and I went to the page where you buy, and I bought like a million copies <laughs> of the album. <laughs> 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 and, I, and, I, and, I, and I checked out twenty million dollars for or something like that, and and then I put next to his, you know, his 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 uh, uh what do you call it? His fucking his little his icon, his his profile. His profile. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. This is the greatest album ever made. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but listen. Oh, did you post like, it? Yes. <laughs> so, uh, it wasn't a week know, later. What, not a days? week later, all of my social media was shut down. What? The YouTube my was completely YouTube was wiped. completely hacked and wiped, and it was all Elon. It was all Elon live streaming. Elon live streaming through my YouTube YouTube pages. Oh, so he got you. He Rick rolled you. He was like, he was like, all right, little homie. I got you. <laughs> Damn, like, hey, you know what? There you got noticed. I'm cool with it. Falling is so big, it shut servers. Dude, yeah, I, oh, I, shit. God, That's I crazy. love Elon Musk for the record. I, yes. I, I, oh, I, I totally really do. do. Yeah, I do too. He's, he's, I fully do. I love the age of the radical billionaire. That shit's fucking dope. Yeah, I best. fucking love it. I love the free enterprise. Like, I love that we can do what we want to do. Yeah, I, I just Ooh, like the yeah. fact that he puts ludicrous speed and like, what's the new one? Uh, he is all these space balls references he puts in his his oh cars. Uh, I'm not missing. Oh, plaid. Plaid. <laughs> yes, plaid the is the new plaid. Speech. Yeah. The fuck? <laughs> yeah. But plaid. But in space balls, we've gone plaid. Like That's it's yeah. like. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That was uh, genius. The story yeah. behind his flame forever. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, the come on, man. That, that, that was Dude, a, it made a, money on the flamethrowers. In the movie uh, Spaceballs. <laughs> made money. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, yeah, that's where it started. Yeah. That's why I did it. Yeah. He was like, I just want to, you know what? I'm going to sell flamethrowers today. I'm going to fucking sell flamethrowers. He said like, he bought a whole bunch of flamethrowers and sold them all in like yeah. an hour. Like, like two two days, 20 or 30,000 flamethrowers come. Yeah. He sold them all. <laughs> Jesus. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, I think he's hacking shit. I'd say I so. I mean, it would make sense because <laughs> think about sponsors, right? I mean, if you can get onto, something if, went down. If yeah. you can get onto the sponsored uh, social media and just be like, hey, I'm going to jump onto this Facebook. You make a post and put it across everybody's fucking social media. And I don't just mean like you're a couple million followers. I mean everybody's social media. You're gonna sell them motherfuckers out in an hour. Mm. That's all you gotta do. I mean, you know how many people would know about an underground artist if you're able to put his song as a sponsor or whatever on every single person's social media? I mean every person. Yes. I don't mean wow. like, let's get 25 million. I mean everybody's. He's gonna be the next biggest thing. Jesus. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah. I mean, he'll be the next big thing. All you need is one song. You don't even need a song. You just have a beat with two words in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn. You know Anything at all, yeah. Style. That's crazy. Like, run it. That was cold. Yeah. But it's true. I mean, I've been trying to get people to hack into tones forever. They just can't or don't or won't. Or don't fuck with me. <laughs> but, <laughs> but. So, like, hack it, shit and go viral with it, you mean? Yeah. That you hack awesome. something and go viral with it. I mean, you hack a whole bunch of servers and play that. Like Mr. Robot, you know. What I'm saying? <laughs> where, where, yeah, you know, talking about the TV show where he's like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hack into the banks," and he's like, "Make he hacks into CNN and like does his message across the CNN and freaks out the entire world." I mean, if you can hack into CNN and play one song, everybody will love you for life. I gotta, I gotta say though, like, you know, the thing with Elon, whether or not it's legit, which I doubt it is, but there is a possibility it could be. You know, I don't know. I, I know that at one point. We were following one another. I don't know if that's still 
but at one point it was. I DM'd him. I was like, hey, man, if you ever need me for a corporate party, I'm in. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> fucking, yeah. just, just pop the trunk at SpaceX all day. Fuck you. Know? Like, yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. That'd be the biggest trunk pop. Like, yeah. well, let's go. That'd be crazy. Uh, but, but I don't know how legit it was. Um, but, you know, I do know that it was a bit scary. Like, like legit scary. It was, it was like... Shadow boxing, and then all of a sudden you're in the ring with a fucking with Tyson. With yeah, yeah, yeah. like oh yeah. fuck, oh fuck, <laughs> my bad. I was this just is reality. Yeah, I, I, like this isn't my game. You know yeah. what I mean? Roll can of worms. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, this is like, I don't that know that shit yeah. about this. Um, yeah. yeah, that's crazy, so, isn't it? That's a scary feeling. That's yeah. a very scary feeling. Yeah, yeah. It's, the it's, technology nowadays fucks me up. It advances. Like when when Siri just just when Siri says, "I did not understand that." I'm like, "That bitch was listening." What the fuck, dude? One time I was <laughs> one time I was arguing with somebody, and I called him a name maybe I shouldn't have, and Siri goes, "That's not very nice." From across the room, no lie. Right. This yeah. blew my mind, right, bro. No. And now you won that fight. So something like on. that, bitch, or something. It was like that's not very nice. With Siri, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not. Remember the ex- Windex experiment we did on the uh, tour that yeah. time? We were like, man, it- wait, with Lil Windex? No, 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 no. But that guy hit me up for a feature. And- oh, why did you do a feature with him? I, I don't fucking know Lil Windex. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, we were doing like, an experiment. I, I don't not fuck. With Lil Windex, I don't have a thing or anything against know. Lil Windex. It's stop down killers. That's my. I stopped shit. at <laughs> Lil Windex. <laughs> That's where it like stops. I was like, uh, I can't get past this. But hey, man, maybe I'll dive into his music. I got. I've listened to his stuff. I'm not a um, hater. You know. Do I will think. say, I think his. I think his best stuff is when he mimics Eminem. His, his best stuff is when he's mimicking Eminem. Like, is he like a parody or is he trying to... No, dude's funny as shit. His name is Lil Windex. He's got like four different little, um, like, what are they called? Aliases? Aliases. And he does like, yeah, yeah, he does like different ones. Lil Windex is one of them where he has like the little blonde hair things going out. Mm -hmm. Lil Windex is cleaning up the game or whatever he calls. And then then he's got these other ones, but he's got, he's got real ones, but I'm like, eh, cool. You know, it's not really, but his Eminem parodies, and he looks just like Eminem. So it's fucking hilarious where he's like telling his kids to like clean up the room and then they fire off on him about some MGK shit and then it's funny as fuck. <laughs> like the kid bashes him like, you're not a better rapper than MGK, dad. Like he's sitting there freestyling on shit and then he's like, and the Charizard and, the and, and he's going on. Did he have one where he was falling down the steps? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that? I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that's that shit had me rolling. That's funny. Yeah, he's yeah. Eminem playing Call of Duty, and he's like out there jumping in the woods and shit, and it's fucking stupid. <laughs> it's stupid that's as true. shit. My wife hates him because I'm like, man, look at this one. Nah, look at this one. Nah, look at this one. <laughs> it's stupid as shit. That's, I think, is his best shit. Yeah. That's yeah. what's up. That's what's up. Hell yeah. That gives me a better grip on what kind of artist he is. He's super I, I've seen funny. that one. He's yeah. I funny. didn't connect. Yeah. Oh, that one, I didn't connect. So you said that, but that yeah. one had me Who rolling. Yeah. I mean, What's up with the feature? <laughs> 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 he said, oh, shit. Uh, yeah, nah, dude, I think it was like how much for the feature. Bro, you should like, you know, like I've never taken money gun. for a feature in my career. How did you slide never. through with it? I'm lying. One time I took a, <laughs> I took money for a feature. First and last time. It was two grand and some some girl it was a girl artist that was fucked up some girl it was a it was a it was a female artist uh and she she reached out to me and and offered me to and i needed i needed some money at the time so i took the 2k but i refused to do a video and she put a mannequin in place of me in the oh straight up and paul That's rosenberg sick. this was like right before i assigned the m got a weird thing with mannequins well, does he? <laughs> no, I've seen him in a bunch of his videos. He always talks about mannequin. And every time my son is like seeing him, he goes, look at him, a mannequin. Look at him planning in. Mannequin, damn it Like, shut the fuck oh, up. Shit. <laughs> Have you ever noticed that? With him and the mannequin in the bath and stuff? Nah. Well, Paul was like, yo, why did you do this? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and I was like, did I do this? 
It was like that, and I cut no shit. That same night, I cut a feature for R. Kelly. The fuck? That never came out. That was the night also that I met Fifi, and we hung out for the first time. Josh Spice was there. That's a minute ago. Oh, know. yeah, Los Angeles. Yeah, it was some time ago. That yeah. the, the feature, obviously, with R. Kelly. The feature for R. Kelly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it never yeah. came out. I want to hear I wish. Oh someone please, goodness. someone please find that feature it. with the R. Kelly. It. Um, yeah, that that demo. I'm glad that you said happened. something about that. If the I heard that shit Kelly off guard, songs with Dave Chappelle. Was this after he came out of the closet? Uh huh. After R. Kelly came out of the closet, I'm just saying. The the in the closet. The closet completely confessions. Nah, this is this. So is, I pull out my gun. <laughs> Metal series. This is before all the crazy, crazy, crazy shit. Uh, Anyway, yeah. What's the best feature so, you've ever no more, done? No more features. Um, well, what's the best one you've ever for, done? For money. Best feature I've... Ever done. Uh, like the one that you were like, damn, I'm happy that I did that one. That like, damn, one. I just killed them? Yeah. Uh, one Train, for sure. Yeah? Kendrick Lamar. Nice. Cool. Uh, action. Um, ASAP, obviously. Yeah. Big Crit. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know? All I those guys. I felt crit. like... Um, uh, ASAP Rocky really extended the olive branch to me as an artist there, you know, cause I, when he hit me, I was like, man, you know, like I really appreciate this because for some reason I had like put myself in a, uh, artistically speaking in a space where, you know, I could go crazy with bars or whatever, but it kind of just went under the radar. I think it was because of the music or like maybe the genre that I was carrying on my back, you know, the style and where I was from, where it just kind of kind of slipped under. But ASAP really was like, nah, dude, like you're you're in this circle. You're you're one of us and like for, I'll, I'll forever be grateful for that. And you know. He's an amazing artist. R.I.P. everybody on that record, by the way. <laughs> uh, sorry, I got that one. <laughs> uh, uh, I will say Big Crit s s smashed on uh, to close it, but I might have got Kendrick on that one. I'll let everybody do the judge, but I love you, Kendrick, but I think I got that one. I love Kendrick. <laughs> I'm from California. Don't oh, dude, he's my... He's, but I think you're a better rapper than Kendrick. Ah, uh, dude, listen. That's Kendrick, just me personally. It's my opinion. I, I really thank you for that, but, but, but for the record, I fucking love Kendrick Lamar. Love Kendrick. He's, he's my favorite. He's, he's my favorite current... Uh, MC artist and, and I think he's very much needed, you know, like very much needed. Mm -hmm. So Kendrick, love hey. you, bro. Shut Straight up. Cheers. Yeah, let me tell you, like, this is how fucking cool Kendrick is. Like, I've I've known him for a long time. We've done sh we've done shows that like, dude. I think we did we did a black college together in Atlanta, Georgia. No, nah, Kendrick was uh, Kendrick was doing a show. Well, we were on Sunset in, in Los Angeles in a hotel, and I heard this crazy ruckus from down the street on Sunset. And we're like right at, at the bar in a hotel, and I walked out to see what was going on, and there was a stage being pulled by 18 Wheeler, <clears throat> and like hundreds of people running, chasing the stage. It was like, an, 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 I don't want to say it was an Adidas sponsored moving show. So Kendrick was performing live and all these runners oh, were nice. chasing the stage. Oh, that's, that's dope. dope. That's, that's dope. dope. So I was standing and I was just watching and Kendrick goes, in the middle of performing, like, you're the wolf. What? What's up? Like, <laughs> uh, I, was, I was standing on the sidewalk. I'll never forget that. I was like, I thought, man, wow. That's Fuck yeah. yeah. That's what's up. You know, dude, dude. Uh, hey, just, 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 we got been, history. You know what I mean? Like, it, but it, it was cool. dope. That, that's awesome. That, uh, yeah, he saw me and shouted me out in the middle of all that. You know? Respect. Yeah. I fucking love that. That's a lot of cool respect. A lot of respect. Hell oh, yeah. Of course. Hey, to fucking Kendrick. Yeah, to Kendrick. Hell yeah. Kendrick. So what's new on the music tip for you? What we got? What can we expect? Man, um, we got some tours coming up. An onslaught. Yeah, it's about to be 
fucking 2023 is about to get stupid with music releases. We, we, so basically we, we were in Russia when Trump made the call to come home and lock down for you know quarantine or stay the fuck in Europe. Yeah. Basically, we were in the middle of a tour. And we came home, quarantined, and we haven't toured since. And that, how long has that been? Yeah, it's Damn. been uh, March 13th, 2020. And we've had a ton of one-offs. Yeah, we've had, like, festivals here and there or, like, you know, like, one-off shows and shit. But uh, we did a run in New Zealand yeah, so recently, right. which was f- crazy. Um, New Zealand. Oh, they went crazy. Yeah, yeah it was. A lot of love yeah, in New Zealand. Yeah. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Um, but we haven't toured since. But, I mean, this year, we're just... I did this rock and roll record with Shooter Jennings called Sometimes Why. And, um... It's fucking hard. Thank you. Uh, yeah. we, so, we just we just locked out and did this record. And, you know, we were going to go do a second album. First of all, I'll say, like, we're super proud of, like, the critical acclaim of the record. We played the Grammy Museum. Uh, we had a sold-out show at the Ryman. And you Rainbow know, Room, Viper yeah, Room. Yeah, played Rainbow's Rainbow Room's 50th anniversary with this band. So, I mean, it's it's been extremely, you know, uh, uh, successful in its in its own right. You know, it's like a very a very well received rock and roll album, and so I'm really proud of it. I, I, I think for some reason. And I never said this in an interview, but somehow, you know, tell a friend, tell a phone, and then it just changes. But people thought I walked away or just stopped rapping, and I, I or or I walked away on hip hop. And so I talked to Shooter. We were going to do a second record, a second rock and roll record. We we're going to write. We we're going to go back to back. And I was like, man, you know, I think that it would be maybe we should just like left hook a hip hop album in between you know the next rock and roll album just to remind people that not only have I not forgotten about them and their love for the hip hop that I've put out over the years but also that I haven't lost love I'm still in love with hip hop music I'm in love with rock and roll music I'm still in love with it all I haven't lost passion it's just that I had to focus on my rock and roll project. I have to do that. Most if definitely. I don't compartmentalize that energy, then I get, you know, I get, I have to focus in Ain't order to get to tell tickets. Artists, uh, you know what yeah, saying? so, um, yeah, so I just, um, so we decided to do it to another hip hop album. But the thing was, like, I just wanted to make it special. So I, the, the first person I thought of was Malay and uh, Malay produced Channel Orange uh, for Frank Ocean he was part producer of Love Story uh, I mean he's done so much it's an amazing song um, uh, Love Story the album and yeah he's uh, yeah he's something else so we, we locked out uh, he did the whole album he did he did the whole Love Story uh, six records on Love Story yeah. Five of which we did six years before trunk music. Um, so that you're headed headed our time with that. Really? I mean, yeah, yeah. Fuck, man. Like, yeah, I have I, a great I flight. Think... Empty bottles. Those empty bottles was recorded six years before trunk music. Before what? Pop the Trunk. Wasn't there vocals and everything? Damn. Was six that other records on you Love made Story six were recorded years. six years before <laughs> Pop the Trunk? That's an amazing. Dude, that's one of my favorite fucking jams. Whenever I'm with my sister, I play the balls. Whenever I was hollering at my girl that she's from Tennessee, I play that Tennessee love all the time. Over from Cali, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Tennessee love, that's, man. Dude, that's a woman getter right there. What a sleeper, Tennessee love. Not a sleeper. Not a sleeper. Fans. No, not no a because sleeper. everybody the voted for it to like, go on the album that's too. One of the best Remember, you originally songs, put that no, on the mixtape. It was crazy. We, it was it was the catalyst to love story though. So so we did Trump music three. No. Trump music. Trump music two. Wait, right? we did zero sixty. No, Trump music two. zero to sixty. Then Trump music 
two yep. was and the one I did with willpower. Yep. And that's where Tennessee love, love happened. Oh yeah, and then so ten, when we did Tennessee love, that was like the catalyst to love story. Yeah. So whenever so I think Tennessee the song, love, and we were like, or or love story, story I think Tennessee love. Yeah. 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 That's wow, crazy. we fucking great. We never even did a video for that. That's I know wild. it's crazy. That is man. wild. No, that's, would you? I mean, it's been used lately. Think it's, would you? Know. Yeah. Why not? I would 100 percent Absolutely. That is an amazing song. That's one. That's a classic. You're that is one of those songs that, no matter where you're at in your career, you can go back and be like, "Damn, I wrote that." Like, those are one of those songs. If I want to tell somebody who you are, I don't go to Pop the Trunk. I don't. Nah. I don't go to Empty Bottles. I go to Tennessee Love because that's, that's one of those ones that's like, um, like my mother. She grew up on R&B and jazz. She doesn't like rap, right? And as she got older, she's Puerto Rican. So when she got older, she started listening a little bit more country. But she likes poetry and stuff. Mm-hmm. But if I listen, if I let her listen to some rap, she's like, I don't like that. But she loves Tennessee Love because it's not, it's not what you consider rap. But the lyrics are just like. You can feel them. Another one like you know that on that record is Devil in My Veins, too. That's one of my Very favorites. Much I so. love that record. Especially for some of the drinks. Right. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Very much so. Look at his channel. Charlie P. <laughs> Charlie P. <laughs> Look, he just walked in. Charlie P. Just Man, that's on the fuck of Pat now. Yeah, he threw a front of mine. I knew you. He threw a front of mine. Look at that motherfucker. Let's go. Let's go. That's my guy. Right Ladies and gentlemen, Charlie, Charlie Green. Green. <laughs> hey, you made a hell of an entrance. I know it every time. Yeah, that's great. Over. <laughs> my man, my man, man. Hey, we love it. Nah, it's, it's, it's freaking right, 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 right on time. This is how they rock up there. Right on time. Hell yeah. No, I love it, man. My bad, yeah. So yeah. we got some, we got some tour we're looking up. Oh, uh, so okay, so, so we've, we're focused on right now Slum Fest. So after after quarantine, we were up to Slum Fest six. Yes. So we threw a festival for Slum American and all of our fans and like-minded people, you know, with like-minded vendors, you know, vintage clothing turquoise and silver jewelry hats boots leather goods all those things that are associated with slamerican you know classic cars harley davidson's you know whiskey good smoke yep blah 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 all those things that we had curated to a festival and we were on our fifth headed to the sixth but then um quarantine you know we got quarantine you know COVID happened we obviously had to stop. Um, so we're looking to do just that this next year, fall, hopefully in Bentonville, Arkansas. That is Hell the plan. That, that's friends, where it'll land. Definitely. Yeah. With definitely our friends, the Waltons, uh, you know, Stuart, love you, brother. Stuart Walton, Shout I played out. Stuart's 40th birthday at this private island um, in the Bahamas, and we became fast friends. And um, it, you know, that, that, that relationship, I will say publicly, has been, uh, you know, just life changing, and we really love them so much. And, yeah, yeah. You know, Bentonville is where we want to land Slumfest because of our relationship with with That's Stuart amazing. and Tom and the family. I love that. And uh, you know, so we're gonna bring out acts for the for the Slumfest. That's kind of our our main thing. We've had some offers, but we're thinking we just want to go international for a while. You know what I mean? Like you just play outside the country. Yeah, yeah. just like go. You know. Go back to New Zealand, go back to South Africa, go back to Europe. Hit Asia. Hit Asia. What's your favorite spot? Oh man, well I've never been to Asia, so but I'll say before and I have a feeling Asia may be, you know what I mean, like you know <laughs> the like, jam. Yeah. I mean Hell well yeah. Russia. We've been to Russia. Yeah. Man, Russia. And like love Russia. You know, love love yes. going to Russia. Crazy time right it now sucks. to say that. It sucks Everything's what's going, going on, on right yeah. now, but I don't fault the people you know like that's there's so many good people over there and as well as ukraine you know like well, shout, out prague. Is, shout out prague shout out prague shout out oh my god prague thanks man. but uh yeah we're just gonna do spot dates and just bop around but the most the most you know important thing that we're focused on you know currently is is making records so trump music four fuck yeah hell yeah with will powers coming 
uh, Yellow with Black Sheep Part Two Hell is yeah. coming. Um, the Malay album is coming. Wait, Black Sheep Part Two? That's with Caskey? Yeah, Caskey. That motherfucker hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that, that, that's up, man. <laughs> I'm gonna do a part two of that. Um, I don't know. I've been reaching out to a few people. I reached out to Diplo, and we'll see what comes of that. I, I did a record with Diplo on my first record. Uh, uh, radioactive. It was mm-hmm. called uh, uh, Animal. Animal. The was animal with uh, spitting hella fast. Yeah, yeah. Animal. Yeah, and, uh, Fifi Dobson's uh, and I's first record, by the way. Nice. Uh, so that was fun. Uh, so I reached out to him, and I'm just, I just, just want to get back in the lab and start making music and put it out. You know, fuck it. Yeah, what else we got to do? Fucking right. I and love it. Give some more jams, motherfuckers. I want a tour, but I just want fucking the right, the right look, the right look, the right tour, the right crew. We keep getting offered these weird tours. And I just feel like, what the fuck? You're just not adding it's up. It's just like, <laughs> why do you want us on the road with that person? Like, <laughs> like, why do you think that I could open up for this person? Or why do you think this person could open up for me? It's like... <laughs> I, I think promoters go for such money grabs. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're just looking for like the money grab, but they're not thinking about are these fans going to have fun that yeah. night? You know what I mean? Are, are is it really are they really going to gel or do these people really listen to both of these artists? Genres. You know right. what I mean? Like is it very different? Correct. Yeah. It could be different. Different's okay, but it's it's like the it's like the vibe. Uh, you know, very much so. Like, <laughs> you don't want like it's this is this so is. America's do you really want to hear Metallica sing "Somewhere Over the Rainbow"? Probably hey, not. <laughs> Actually, I kind of do. Maybe it's not so. A bad idea. It's not yeah. a bad idea. Yeah. I've been here and that shit. James Edgar will fuck that up. Yeah, I'm saying. Okay, touche. Yeah, touche. Whatever. Yeah, Yeah, if not, we'll have a bad analogy. That's a bad analogy. They'll fuck it up, too. I don't know, though. You You know, know, I've said that for years until you just said that just now. And now I'm like, "Eh, well, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Honestly, (laughs) if they did just that as a hook and then you rapped on it, that'd be a fucking banger. Hell yeah. Yeah, it would. That's I a mean, terrible idea. I don't know. I, you know <laughs> yeah, there most, we go. Most of my happiness comes from terrible ideas. Hell yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Ice-T did some shit with Slayer. It was fucking fantastic. So, what was that? Uh, they did. It was on the, Ray, the Rain and Blood tour. Uh, uh, Ice T came in and did some shit. There's been some crazy hip hop metal mix ups. Uh, Mix Master Mike just opened up for Metallica for an entire For real? Tour. What? Yeah. Uh, Beastie Boys DJ Mixmaster Mike opened up. For that Shout e- out to Mixmaster e- Mike. E- Love you, Travis Barker, yes. for introducing us, put me on tour with you guys. Um, but yeah, Mixmaster Mike uh, just did something with, with Metallica, a whole tour. Do you remember that? Uh, God, there was some shit going down back in the day. Remember the Ice Cube? Uh, ch- was it Chili Peppers and Ice Cube? So, oh, Get Wicked? Because I'm wicked. Because I'm wicked. Was it? When he had body count? Or not? Before, after that? Nah, this is Ice Cube. You're talking about Ice T. Ice T. Sorry. Okay. Ice T. Yeah, I got that off right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, Common yeah. got all mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Common says got mad. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, do you know Common? Does he, is he a. No, I do not. I don't yeah. know Common. Fan. I saw her. I saw him at the. Uh, at uh, fuck man, I saw Skrillex at the same venue. It's it, it's a it's like a old it's a church in Atlanta that they turned into a, um, a venue. It's 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 escaping me now. But um, yeah, I'm a fan of Common. I feel like to a I certain love extent, Common. I love Common. But I feel like if we ever had a conversation, he'd be very proper. Like I'd feel bad to cuss around. I'm like, I don't know, I don't know, I'm just sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> He yeah, seems he's like worse. It, you he know, carries he, himself well. Yeah, yeah. It's Every like respect, you ever respect. sitting there talking to somebody and they have that intelligence level to you, like maybe I should just shut up. I yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's just perception. You know, it's probably not even close to the truth. No, no, no. It's probably close to the truth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's extremely smart, but. Oh uh, yeah. But yeah, no. Um, I I used to be really into heady. You know what I mean? Very like. I would say, you know, knowledge, 
quote unquote hip hop, you know, it's just a, I was a very strange kid, you know, in the South, it's, you know, the hip hop that I was listening to is, you know, in the middle of fucking Alabama, like poor righteous teachers and, uh, you know, Bush babies and, I mean, like, uh, hieroglyphics and all the shit that was coming out of the West Coast. A lot of that shit was coming, like, stemming through uh, skateboarding. I was learning a lot about, like, underground hip-hop. And I I had this, like, this, this I was drawn to that, like, in-depth lyricism. Or if they were saying something that was, like, connecting spiritually. But there was, like, also, on the flip side, 3-6 Mafia, yep. you know, nappy head and gold teeth, you know, <laughs> s- s- skinny pimp, <laughs> you know, like there was this other sh- yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there was this very like juxtaposing yeah, sides so. of hip hop that were like infiltrating, you know, my inspiration at the time. Cause I, rem- I remember like a time in the South where it wasn't like, it was like frowned upon to listen to Wu-Tang Clan around yeah. certain cliques. For Do you sure. remember that? Hell yeah, I remember yeah. that. Especially when, like, especially when um, uh, Pastor Troy was, like, throwing, basically throwing shots at the North. Mm-hmm. Like, and you just had to get down with the South, and it was just a wrap. <laughs> you remember that, Charlie P? I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, me too, man. I remember, like, you, you used to hide and listen to the Wu-Tang <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 I like Wu Tang though. Go to the bathroom, turn the shower. I used to be listening to Mortal Technique and shit, and just be like, no fucking way. All right, yeah. y'all, y'all crazy. Right? Killer Priest, remember yeah. Killer oh, Priest? Yeah, Killer Priest. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Capadonna. Killer, Priest. Killer Army. Killer Army. Killer Grave Army. Diggers. Killer Army. I'm With the last Armageddon. Army. Prepare yeah. yourself now for the six man wedding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, fucking right, man. Hey, it was great having you on this mug. We're going to go do this old meet and greet and have some fun, meet some people. Absolutely. Say what's oh up to everybody. Show you it's what that Z shit. Life is all about. Yeah. See what the what is the about? Z Life. That was the Zerati Zerati shop. That's Charlie Pino, all about it. <laughs> Z Life? Yeah, we've been life. bringing him everywhere. I'm interested to see. He told me about the loophole. Mm-hmm. Give yeah. me the this CBD. joint. He's a genius. You got a lighter? Genius. We genius. do have a lighter. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, I love it. I got a torch. Uh, I'll take a puff. I just want to taste it. You nice. know, just like uh, for the sake of being here and legal you know, cannabis. You know, legal it's cannabis. It's all organic. It's a 50 50 hybrid. All right. Really? So it's right on the money. It's not indica. It's not sativa. It's right on the middle. Fantastic. God, it's got a pretty cherry on it right now. I'm going to try that right. thing. you going to try it Since too. we're in a legal jurisdiction. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, Charlie. No, 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 no. Here we go. Here we go. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Look how pretty that is. I'm the wolf. I get it done. Yeah, this, is for, uh, this, is my, this is for my boy Wiz Khalifa. Did. Hey, shout out Wiz on your cake. I did three tours with the Taylor Gang. Love Taylor Gang. Never smoked weed with Taylor Gang. If I want to smoke weed, I'll smoke with you guys. Maybe maybe Snoop. Yeah, some of the Marleys I smoke with. I smoke with my boy Zilla. But I might smoke also with Wiz just a little bit. Alex Marley watches. I'm not trying to get Shout out Alex Marley. too stupid. I right. <laughs> who? Maybe Alex uh, Marley. Oh, okay. the, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he watches the show. Maybe Rogan too. I like Rogan. Man, fuck yeah. Yeah, Rogan's dope. Joe. Rogan's yeah, dope. Yeah. That's the one I do person I would love Rogan. to do a podcast with. Or Tyson. Tyson. Mike Tyson. I fuck with Tyson. Yeah. I want to. No, but it, hey, yeah, exactly. If we get with yeah. Mike Tyson, you have to yeah. eat some mushrooms. Well, and that's it. Cheers, guys. I appreciate hey, y'all. That tastes yeah. really good. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, nothing more than I, I, I can, mm-hmm. can't handle. Most definitely. You know, know your limits, everyone. Know your limits. I appreciate you. <laughs> Big motherfucker Wolf Outzilla. Big Jerry, I appreciate hey, what you. Up? <coughs> Sorry. Thanks for and having us. Cheers. cheers. <laughs> hey, man. Thanks for having Creek Water. In Shout out, sure. Creek Water. If you don't got Creek Water in your house, go home. <laughs>